What up, what up, Wimboys here. And today I wanna to show off the brand new Asus ROG Ally. Now I've seen everybody online doing unboxings and everything, cause this is brand new, it just came out. And everybody's been showing video games, but I wanna answer the age old question. Can it run in Real Engine 5? So you know me, I had to put it to the test, even though it's not built for that, this is strictly for fun. So the first thing that I did was actually hook up a portable SSD drive and it actually worked. So this is a one terabyte drive. I just plug it in USB right into the top and everything was just recognized because at the end of the day, this is a portable PC. So this is running a full fledged version of Windows 11, which is pretty cool. And then the next step from there is I actually go over to the Epic Games Launcher, which I already had installed on this machine because this is able to launch multiple launch Launchers, whether it's Game Pass or Steam or even the Epic Games Launcher. But also, since the Epic Game Launcher is where you launch Unreal Engine 5, I figured why not try to install it and see if it could run. So it did take a couple of hours to get it to run. Ideally, this isn't the most ideal thing because at the top of the system here, this is where you have the USB charger. Like it has the USB import and this is where the charger goes. But this is also where I put my portable hard drive as well. So while this was installing, it wasn't able to be charged. It was working in portable mode in which this thing almost died the battery almost died before it actually fully installed unreal engine like i said it took a couple of hours to download but i think if i did it again it actually does have a little card slot up here so i could probably get like a micro card maybe like a one terabyte put that in there and that way if i want to install anything i can still have it plugged in while it's doing everything but for this example this ended up working so the first thing I wanted to test, will this even open up Unreal Engine 5? In which it actually did, I was able to open up a blank project in there, nothing else going on, no ray tracing or anything, but it actually worked. And so the next thing I wanted to do was actually take one of my projects that I did in one of my previous tutorials where I did a cloth simulation and run it through here to see if it actually worked. And to my surprise, it actually worked. Now, this isn't textured or anything. Like, I'm not sure why I didn't bring over the textures and not being able to use a mouse and keyboard on this setup. Like, I don't have the dock or anything. So I'm doing everything with the controllers and the touchscreen and everything on the system here. So it was a little bit hard to navigate. So I just let it run blank as it came through and everything ran. But if I go over to the FPS and let's look at the frame rates that we're actually running, it's definitely not ideal. But again, this is working in handheld mode. It's not plugged in or anything. And it's still getting around 10 to 12 frames per second, which it's not bad for something that's not built to run Unreal Engine 5, not in those regards, at least. And if you guys are interested in knowing how you could do stuff like what I'm doing with Unreal Engine, like this class simulation, make sure you check out my channel or the link up above where I did a full tutorial on how to be able to do this in Unreal Engine 5. But the next test I wanted to see is if I actually went over to the templates and made a third person game, would it be able to run it? And would it be able to run it with the controls already built into the system? So I started up a brand new program there, went over to the templates. Again, I'm not using ray tracing because I'm not sure how it would run on this system. Got to run a few more tests on here. But once I had everything installed, compiled the shaders and everything, it looks like it actually worked. Now I did have to do some trickery in here because with this system, you actually do have a couple of options. If you want to run it on desktop mode, this ends up turning into like a mouse where you're just controlling with your little thumbstick here. And then like the right bumper up top, that's going to be your right click. Or you can run it in controller mode, in which this turns it into almost like an Xbox controller. And so with the third person template, usually I would run it with the Xbox controller here on my home desktop. But with this, I was able to switch back and forth in between desktop mode and controller mode and was still able to get it to work, which was kind of impressive. Now, the one caveat is, again, this isn't like a high powered PC like I have here on my desktop. No 4090s, no Threadrippers or anything of the sort. So whenever I first opened it up, of course, the compiling shaders took a little bit, probably around 10 to 15 minutes when I opened up my first project. But from there on out, everything just kind of ran smooth. So once again, answered the age old question. It can run Android Engine 5.2, but not efficiently. So you still need a laptop or a desktop computer to be able to do what you want to do. If anybody's interested, I'm definitely digging this. Like I've only had this for a few days. It literally just came out, but for all my gaming needs, like it's pretty solid. Like I haven't touched my Nintendo Switch in ages. I feel like, like I have Game Pass. I play a lot of Game Pass on my Xbox. 
So it's pretty cool that I can play games on an Xbox and if I'm traveling or anything, I can just have everything pick up where I left off here on my system. And that's the main reason why I got this because I am on tour this year. So been doing a lot of flying and this is definitely going to be coming in handy on the planes in which if I come to your city, make sure you stop by and say what's up. And again, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and until next time, stay fresh, keep creating and I'll catch you guys in the next video. I see you soon. Take care.